here is my story guys this is my story so stay tuned and enjoy the video don't forget to like and comment please don't skip ads okay <laughs> hello guys welcome to my channel where you here if you're new here if you're a returning subscriber thank you for coming back so guys today we are doing story time mm, as you've seen in the in the topic in the topic of this vlog this is a character development story guys i know we've all been there guys we've all gone through some shit and let's normalize talking about these things man let's normalize talking about situations that were meant to break us but they actually made us who we are today they actually they i don't know what they did but they just opened our eyes by the by then we couldn't have seen because we were young we began naive and in love but let's just get right into it let's talk about my character development story at a time i almost lost myself because of a heartbreak guys mm, cheers and let's talk about men because men will embarrass you okay let's talk about men cheers story time <laughs> so guys this is how this began so i was in that year in school i remember and uh we just uh closed for i think it was attachment yeah attachment yeah and so now you you know you're a big girl now you can date you have no curfew and whatever so guys <laughs> Mini kwa dia pale ni niko shule sasa hiyo sasa of course tumefunga now we are home i remember i had me I was not living in the hostels but then when i was in that i had already moved out to like a bed sitter i was living in a bed sitter a really good bed sitter guys me nimependa soft life kutoka kitamu <laughs> yeah i remember i had such my mom had such a fuss of me living alone but also a grown up then guys so that is the time I am now experiencing, guys. You know, uh, those people you used to date uh, in Kitambo in our era, it's not like, it wasn't like really dating. It was just like talking and hugging. But like my first ever relationship, my first good relationship. This is the story of how this man almost, ah, almost ruined my life. Mm. So I remember back then we went out with my friend. Oh my god, may her may her soul rest in peace. Her name was Rose. Oh I miss her so much. We used to live in the same house. So uh, I was like, uh, I'm going to meet the, uh, this guy. Uh, can we can we go together? And then she was like, Okay, cool. You know, back in the days you didn't want to go on a date alone because you don't know what the intentions of these guys are. But it was just being naive, you know. You, I actually never used to go on dates alone. It used to be like that's it guys used to be so turned off with me because i'm not coming alone i'm coming with my friend because mm, 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 mm. so guys me and Amanda, i'm with my friend we go we meet this guy my guy now he comes with his friend who you will later hear in this story quite story you will still hear the friend around so guys me we just go there we have food and then we have drinks later i get to know this guy he likes me i like him Joanna. of course i'm not that into him it's the first date i'm like okay cool so the guy drops us home and that's it that's our first date our, but our first date head crowd i wouldn't call it that so now we start talking he's like hi how are you how have you been i'm like cool be fine can we meet can we go out to i remember this guy you, you used to like to go to westland so much and um so he would like um can we go grab something to eat somewhere and uh come back and i'm like okay cool you know that time i said you have attachment but don't go home then like i'm just chilling in the house i have nothing to do so we pick me up we go to westland we'll go to the bistro we eat some we'll go to black demon we eat we drink he drops me home it happens for like three two days a few weeks and i'm like wow this guy is kind of nice so i start liking this guy ah so i mean this is not a good date now who gives an angle hey this is not dead such a good date hey this guy was everything nice hmm. this guy from buying me flowers hmm? you see 
I'm, I'm new to this like sijo uh in my life sequel and my experience e like a guy opening he was opening the door for me this guy was heaven sent let me tell you guys any isn't my green flags pekake he would open the car door for me i'm like oh and he'd pick me up you know, at that time i'm naive and uh, so these things used to like one time he picked me up and then he told me uh j don't worry let's just go somewhere and i was wearing like sweatpants and a t-shirt and went to the mall he took me shopping he told me to pick a dress pick shoes big and then i dressed up while we went and went out tell me that is not romantic guys he was so romantic and then he would actually he would like spoil me nice with i know people right now spoiling is not bad spoiling is has a, a different but to me that was spoiling spoiling has another it's a it's a it's way different right now but to me that was spoiling because he would pick me up take me on dates where a i a vacations guys he's oh let me first of all let me tell you this one guys i remember one time uh we had an argument you know we were dating now it's like five months okay now now it's like to make a honeymoon period now we started having arguments like small small arguments and then he was like one time we argued and then he was like i'm not going to argue with you just pack your bag current like two clothes let's go away for and talk so i'm like okay maybe it's right on i wash i'm gonna cool my upper two so i mean that you got two handbag yangu and my two clothes in a zia car but i just named that my friend a me to alini pelek had the airport and then he's like alienda aka book i'm a book uh i'm a book hotel in mombasa i'm a book nini i remember that time me and any peak and then i thought ah so then i'm gonna cool something this guy i'll come and book ticket na book place in your kulala so we literally and then it's quite it's kind of airport and then i'm like yo what up hey kufika tunapana ndege tunenda ni mombasa it was cute not that it was my first time to go to mombasa but it was so romantic especially if you're with someone you love apple my friend nilikuwa nimezama kwenye penzi yani i was in love what are you saying i remember i used to brag to my friends and then tell him that hey how do you how do you single people survive how do you single ah. <laughs> So these are all the green flags about this guy. Mm, what else? Mm -hmm. So the guy was really nice. He was generally nice. Also, he had a really nice car. Of course, this guy was a little bit older than me, but I didn't mind that at the time. I really didn't mind. When I started liking him, I didn't mind if he was older. Not that he was old. He was older than me. He was not like my age mate. You get alcohol. So we made me niko like up for two niko two princess treatment niki taka pesa nywele na it shatu niki taka pesa angwa na it shatu eh asa mama angwa kintu me pesa rent just to go na yo ilikuwa ya kazi ingine dunisha lipa rent when I want to go out I just call them like hi babe mm, I want to go out uh I need something in the house ah babe oh because that was this time he was like babe I don't go out I, I don't want no man like forcing you to dance with him mama to do anything just because a team he will buy you drinks don't worry just go out. i'm going to buy you know your time sick okay you guys and then see just all your person me me he person yeah when you he could like don't do anything just because actually you want someone to buy you a drink no just go out just and drink whatever you're going to drink and send me the bill i'ma just tell me how much is it i'ma let me just send you money and then you can just use it for your outfit mm. my friend i used to go out even with my girls i'm like no nah, my boyfriend will just eh mm. this is not any green flags green flags green flags so now let's get to the real story here is the real story guys so guys mm -hmm. So mm, the group the the group flags me she started to make a honeymoon period now to me like quite serious did i mention this guy was a church guy right he was in church and whatever so me me i'm like uh so now my sister starts mentioning some things then she's like otele yako asa ukienda huko kwake unaenda kama umepanga hakuna siku unaenda mum surprise sister kwa kani akadidunga kidogo then i'm like kai Really come to think of it every time i go there we have to plan hi so me i'm like babe 
uh can i come over every time i was like can i come over to your place he's like oh no babe i see you know my mom got sick Mm, and she's living with me now for like a couple of weeks so baby just come just just wait for me we can go somewhere and chill mm. Mimi too niko in love Mimi mjinga niko nimezama kwenye penzi sio nangi uh, what are you saying huni mtu wangu mna muharibia juu kwa nini hamtaki nikuwe happy ha ah. i wish i knew you so Mimi mimi hapo na mtu wangu mm, uh, ananipea excuse na muuliza babe so siezi kama kwa like hapana babe you know my mom she's at home and you know she hasn't met you officially so kukuja you have to you it's just a lot and alafu hata mimi naona ah it's a lot lakini ah, stanga napenda kuchoma hivyo sasa ndio najiambia <laughs> that's the first one ha, mine mimi naacha tu haya the second one this guy anapotea anga weekend sana sana weekend simuoni hata kwa simu nikimkola niambia oh babe you know my mom got i don't know into an accident to, to, i think alikuwa na mama yake alikuwa na condition fulani which i don't know up to now mimi sijui jua kama huyo mtu alikuwa aishi na mama yake ama ilikuwa uongo so i mean you know my mom is sick i don't know what um, so alipata accident kaita ambulance sijui with my cousins and my sijui from which side so we took her to the hospital me go like um oh, yeah baby come on you want to eh just so no na eh mom mom it's important na just we slide me i'm telling you i was dumb dumb mm, i was stupid me ya sidi ile wangu bo ha ha ama ningwa nimepoa kamuti sisi ile wangu haya so that was another one haya So mimi niko like ai hapana this is too much this guy anapotea tu weekend ananyamaza mimi namtafuta sympathy kwa simu akomteja nikimcall uh, ananicall so like monday morning with a very valid excuse ni hata unaona eh magi sometimes it was like kama unataka kuongea na mama yangu unataka kuongea na mama yangu so nikola eh hey, hapana si kuongea na mama yake but if it gets to a point ni nasema okay kama ni mama yako basi si if she's that sick and I'm your girlfriend let me just come and see your mom but if she's sick let me just come and to let me just come and see your mom as in we'll do the talking there if she's sick she actually needs to meet me you know since I'm your girlfriend i remember one sunday i came saw basi you'll meet her Mimi ah yeah yeah hapa tendo kwanza nilikuwa nimeharibu kabisa mimi niko like kai sana naenda ku meet my low oh 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 my friend and nikaenda nikabai dress mrefu of course this guy used to give me money like all the time like sick way kwa broke like literally so mimi niko like nikaenda nikabai dress mrefu niko like eh nimejipanga na pigia sister na mwambie hai sasa you know my sister we're so free with my sister so i i tell her like a everything uh, let's say everything not everything because she doesn't know how to keep her mouth shut she always says things to my mother but not sensitive <laughs> so maybe you go like hey hi sister mm, you say i'm going to meet my mother and then i was on the phone with her you know me i don't know how to pray like <laughs> i don't know how to pray in kikuyu so this girl was kikuyu i don't know how to pray in kikuyu mm, So, so give me some my sister is very prayer free so I'm like so give me some lines some some things uh zenyane za rusho ko tu kwa maombi ni kai serious oh no 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 me ya bigia sister una mwambia ni funza kuomba ti tunaenda kuona mama hiyo guys i've suffered sister bwana cheka karibu akaniambia magi ati nini mimi namwambia so me i don't know how to bring you i only know in english so she's like We well, practice to fanya fanya tu sema mambo mimi na practice tu hapo maombi na sema father lord we rebuke this sickness ha we rebuke it in the mighty name of jesus so mimi niko hapo tu na kikumwana ni da hoya oh mori moyo mwe we here but then to know up to now i don't know how to pray <laughs> guys mimi nika nikajitayarisha it's sunday so this guy akaniambia mm, i'll pick you up at noon 22 on monday around the post saa 7 juu wadi nafungwa so niko like okay so mimi by noon 
my no by the hour is ready nimeoga nimevaa dress makeup nimeguza guza kidogo just like mama yake aone ati napenda nini kucha nilikuwa na mrefu nimekata nimekata niko like mm, how can she not like me how can she acha siku anapaka lipstick ngoi anapaka lip balm na sim e a good girl my friend me call this guy 12 noon nimefika hai nasema eh sasa ndo ana drive akakuja sasa ni pick up kwangu Hey, trust that nafika. Hey. Bado wanipigi. 12:40 nikampigia. Hakuchukua. 12 ah uh, 12:50 you know na napimanisha na 10 minutes. So 50 nampigia. Akapig. No, that you are pig. Unaona vile mtu anasema let me call you back. Acha nikupigie. So mimi Apo tani kashtuka nasema kuna something happened. Kai labda mimi yake ameona vibaya hapa something. That was what came into my mind. Hey, my friend, do you know that guy? How can you pick here? How can you pick? Abi lazima chan kupiga chuo. No, no, no. Mind you, nilikuwa nimemwambia nishaoga, nishaji sharisha, anangoja anichukue. We, masaibu. Hata si angeniambia sana nichukue car, but at least kama hangekuwa kwa. Mimi nakwambia nimemngoja, nimemngoja. Okay, I stayed with my dress and my I was ready up to like 6. Na saa moja. Mimi nakumbuka nikipigia sister yangu nikilia hapo 7:30 nikamwambia aliniambia nioge. Anakuja kunipiga tu ende tukaone mother in law. Na kukuja na hakunipigia simu. You know that guy never called me that day. Yani after man eh yeah, mi mi bale ni mipitia ni mipitia eh hey, mashallah so now na the guy never called me so guy is on to near red flags ni endelea tu kuongezeka and you know what he do after that after amekosea hivyo so the next day he will be like early in the morning i think akiamka kwenda makshughuli zake and then niandikia paragraph Uh, babe i know this stuff this okay this time we are going through these are the tough times in a relationship we are going to make it and you need a paragraph na andika ingine na nanitumia kawepo kama penzi so mean ko like ama basi you know ama basi ni nini ama tu ni muelewe you know na mama kwa kwa msiki sometimes tunaweza kuwa confused Mjinga, yani mimi eh hey, I was stupid. Gay. <laughs> so kijana wangu si tunaendelea tu kudeta akinidanganyanga tu anapotea weekend zingine wengine yako. Yani ilifika tu place ingakuanga tu talks talks tu love ikakaa tu ni kama I'm just there because sina 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 ni kama sina option, sina mtu mwingine wa kudeta but me emotionally sana ni kama nimeanza nime kutoka simefika hiyo point yenye nimeona ah, okay jana tu anashina akindanganya tu kila time i'm telling you unaona hiyo tu kuzima nzima simu kupotea of course he was doing something shady which i yenye sikuwa najua i'm telling you even to go to his place we had to plan you know okay jana we had to plan okay ama he was married the sija way figure out but kwenda kwake we used to be like we used to like plan sana sana alikuwa ananidanganyilia tu na ananiambia ah, let's just go somewhere nice. Mm, I mean get scared somewhere nice. Mimi napenda views, no napenda soft life. Nasema. <laughs> Nasema what? Views. Eh someone nataka tu na breakfast in bed. Eh so nika like cool. Let me tell you guys. Hizo vitu wewe una una ignore una ignore hizo. Usi ignore hizo. That's the real him and I came to know this. So this guy uh, uh calls me one evening. I think we got me to come call to the whole day and then I can call can be a babe don't worry. Eh, I got into an accident. I don't know I've been admitted into what Sydney. So before I niambia which hospital simi kazima. I don't know kama ile zima ama ni ile zima. So I'm um, unaona mtu amekwambia tu bad news and then akaenda mteja. So me try calling him. Haingi. I try calling him. Haingi usiku usiku wacha sasa siku analala naamka tu usiku ni kwa like kai what happened aki na jaribu kumcall aingi <laughs> mimi the next day ni kwa like hey, i can't take this anymore so you remember when i we went for the first date alikuwa na best jacket 
alikuwa best friend yake as, as he used to call him juu alikuwa anakunywa na yeye kila time so niko like mm, I remember that guy and since we were friends on facebook with my guy at the time so naenda kwa friend kwa kwa picha zake naona amemtag so naenda kwa inbox yao kijana u best yake best friend yake so, so i'm like hi yeah it's maggie it's the so and so's girlfriend yeah and then i'm like so he called me and then he told me he was like in an accident something happened where is he is he okay ni, 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 ni. you see i'm worried so the guy is like oh yeah he was i don't know what yeah the guy just cover up for him and then he's like ah lakini lakini oh i oh watch to start kwambia leo guys it's always your best friend it's always your friends what does he best friend your friends it's always your friends this case like i'm a watcher too and he called like i watch at uni hebu niambie ako wapi kwa nini nini uniambi sasa naanza kujifanya mimi hata i don't care namwambia niambie tu najua tu sami ni call like kai na say na sikia kulia ni call like guy this guy kwa nataka kuniambia nini guy na say uni best friend yake come to think of it this guy was a bad friend by the way alikuwa a hater in disguise because eh hey, hey, let me tell you this is where the story now begins me me this guy and then ah yeah the nikamuliza kwani yako wapi akaniambia wewe hata tu usiwori ako tu sawa usiwori nini nini unaona mimi kwa hiyo relationship yangu already nishaanza kutu nishaanza kuboy cause nishaanza ku lose feelings because this guy is just being lying disappearing and then all signs and then there was one time i went to his house and i found another phone an extra phone was in i'm like really you can have another phone and he was hiding it from me so i'm like as in like kwa hii relationship ni she has gone out ni go to just for the sake of your time so me okay what's the matter with up to your mom because you me i had nothing to do with whatever that is up, about to happen me yeah, this guy so me me si na ngana who best friend yake Oh yeah. Get okay, tell him. Uh okay. Do na insist that we nataka kujua eh fanya hivi let's meet. Let's meet and talk. Maybe I can give you some I don't know. Let's just meet and talk. Mimi, I am Maggie the curious woman. Eh, Nikki said let's meet we talk. Yani he's just going to like let me inside like all these questions I have. He's going to give me answers. Hey, Mimi Eh, no by this time in our relationship nisha maliza uko shule we did it for a while guys nisha maliza shule nimepata job i was very new in my work in my job nimepata job i'm getting my money so i'm like oh cool so na you see could this guy tells me eh, let's meet up after lunch uh, no at lunch hour we can talk and i don't know So me nico like eh hey, nico so curious i want to know what this guy has to tell me yani i want light i want to know what this guy has been hiding does he live with his mom what is going on is what is going on mimi nika toka bio bio job around the poor 12 in a restaurant i'm waiting for for the best friend now my boyfriend my boyfriend aji kama hata na meet huyu rafiki yake ye yeah, bado alinema ni mgonjwa na sasa yeye anani avoid je anajua alikosea me i meet this guy so now we are talking with this guy so he's like hi how are you long time yo eh hey, yo sijini compliment nini nini kwa food nini so we start talking kai acha nikwambie this guy aliniambia mambo mimi sikuwa imagine hata sikuwa ifikiria yani this guy broke my heart it was yani niko tu hapo najifanya tu mimi wish wish kwa attacked na kitu like all of a sudden then you're like you don't know how to act mimi siko najua nilie ni cheke yani i'm just shocked niko tu hapo na pretend like i don't care what guy niambie tu akaiwaacha kai mimi sio nasikia kulia the be- yani is the best friend me by the way ni watu ugopeni ya watu guy Eh, hey, want to that was a hater in disguise. Me I don't know how someone can do that. Okay, I know alikuwa na aniambia hiyo ni side lakini to do that to your friend. This is your best friend. No alikuwa na shida pamoja, bro. Hey, you know mama of the highest level. Sa this guy ananiambia. Wewe wagi acha ujui. 
muko sijui wa tano kama ati hey eh hey, sijui nini ananionyesha picha anani huwa anaitwa sijui nani ananionyesha picha ndio page yake ya IG ya Facebook huyu mwingine anaitwa hivi huyu sijui anasimeanga wapi huyu mwingine alikuwa na yeye jana huyu mwingine sijui nini kai mimi 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 nilikuwa nasikia kulia but now I have to keep a straight face because we got like kai yani wao mtaka hivyo shit hata mwaacha kai mimi I was I was heartbroken my friend I kid you not I man nili talk up because I can't nikalia nikalia kabla hotel ya hiyo restaurant ningeenda kwanza nikalia kabla kai kwani wao have been dating ndio 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 hizo time zote unashinda ukimpigia tunakuanga na yeye tunakuanga sherehe anaona call zako na this snob mimi niko na guy na ukijana kama hataki tuendelee si angeniambia tu we break up ana ukijana niambia eh anasemanga vile unakuanga ungrateful si ndio nini kwa like guy sasa tena eh we mi sito is a house at day so mimi went home i was so hard broken na na sika tu hata ukijana si mpigi so ukijana niambia lakini sasa wewe na dip mwingine nyinyi ndio my main nyinyi mkoa wa pili so niko like oh mimi na nani haya akanisha facebook page ya udem you know you tell me i think facebook was the thing lakini mimi i don't know yeah i jacket akwa na ej i think akaniambia eh hey, huyu huyu ni yeye unaona hizi picha unaona huyu hii ilikuwa bash yake ilikuwa last man na tulimfanyia bash tulimfanyia bash na na huo chali yako unaona hizi picha zote lakini udem aja post aja post huo chali yako eh but sasa hizi hii birthday ni alifanya hmm me sasa niko like i'm so curious si mimi na nikaingia sasa ameshanionyesha page ya dem mangi the curious woman kaenda tu si niko kwa hii page ya dem naangalia tu kwa kwa, kwa nini vile amekaa kwa ikiti ya mbele ni tu aje kasi but you never get never get used to that shit by the way it's not even yours because me eh eh karibu tena niki hapo jina was my yani this guy had shown me that I'm his wife that, so me when i get home from this whole shenanigan or from that talk i had with that guy my boyfriend calls me he's like where have you been so i don't know who told him Uh, I was seen with that guy in some restaurant talking I'm an ally. He's like, "Where did you meet that guy? You, what what did you talk about?" I'm like, "Me, I'm just cool. I'm just come and collect and I'm like nothing. We just met by chance." Nini nini. So me na mwambia hivyo. Yaani mimi kwa hiyo relationship nimesha zone out. I just think like see see him confront kumuuliza. Like like I need to first know you this this uh, this 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 is the truth. Na kwanza nje kai history ni ukweli. Eh eh. So guys, I can you know what I did guys. So u jamaa unajua alinipea hizo Facebook account za madem. Na sasa namba huyo msichana particular mwenye mwenye huyo msichana tunafanana. Kai kwanza tulikana na yeye tunakaa sisters. Acha kwanza nikwambia vile tulikana na yeye. So mimi akanipea hadi namba ya udem. So si nimesave namba ya udem. For some reason this di- this lady also had my number. Sijua alitoa wapi but I think this guy who who you the best friend alikuwa na alikuwa anacheza hii mchezo kwa wasichana wote sawa kwa sisi wasichana wa ujama. Ai mashallah. Tuko what do we call this guy? What do we call my boyfriend? Let's just call him my boyfriend and now the best friend. Hmm. So this this guy this lady happens to have my number <coughs> and happened to have her number. Mimi kidogo kidogo na view status. America so uh, okay i don't know how ali join kwa namba yake ama mimi nilijoja kwa namba yangu but okay ka status hiyo same kulikuwa na status ama ni profile picture ai ka status kwa kuwa na uja mawangu okay ka status na haksema kitu mimi nika view kai sana niko like kai wako wa line ni kweli ako wa line ni kweli sasa kwanza nikauliza kai how, how does this guy have my number so you so nika comment kwa hiyo picture what and then she was like yeah what hmm. this girl was really nice she's very really she's calm she's collected she, she's nice right so she's, she's like ni 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 magi kanemi so i decided to just call her come call her come hi sasa how are you and she's like hi how are you yeah and then she's like nikamuliza mm 
So tunajua na kanambia yeye hata mimi nakujua. Yeah. Umbe tunajuana. Nikamuliza, "Yeah." Akaniambia, "So this girl is really nice." Kwa like, "Eh, nana umeka profile picture mnakaa vizuri." Me by the that was what I said and she said, "Mhm." Mm eh ukaje sijui nini kanambia sti hata wewe mna date bado unasema niambia hivyo yani that guy ai mungu tu amuone hata wewe mna date au ndio maana niambia niko like wewe na nimeshtuka kwa nuno meka picha ya chali yangu kwa sasa tunamko na yeye sasa meka wako kuna yeye kwa gari kwa like guy ndio maana niambia magi si si we plan we meet somewhere and talk mimi ni like mm, yeah i'm nothing to lose jumi hata nishazona tu kwa ile shuju misha jua whatsapp so mimi to commit so me to ka plan to meet na ude aki maji to i so this girl to commit somewhere for drinks for cocktails we met up then we like hi how are you but then to meet tuna ka sisters kuika kwa meza watu wao nadhani si ni sisters we like look alike somehow like this guy clearly has a type clearly has a type So sisi tumekaa tu hapo na demo yangu sisi tunakunywa. Ni hata niko hivyo anaambia na text which ali yangu niko like hi babe yeah i want to go i i'm having some drinks here with some friends can you send me some money ako like yeah anatuma pesa haya tuka exchange so to na wana Kenya tuka exchange simu tuone text Kenya na text Kenya na text na text to them can everything yani Easy paragraphs alikuwa ananitumia ndizo anatumia udemu you get ama anamtumia na forward you get i think alikuwa na forward like forward to 5 forward to 10 new you... hey. imagine so me tunaangalia naangalia simu udemu na bana e paragraph ndoi e text ndoi udemu na pia kampigia na like, kamtext kamwambia yeye yeah, ni some money ni akamtumia si tunaenjoy tu hapa pesa yake tukikunywa as we talk you guy imagine ukijana alikuwa anatucheza hivi vizuri so namuliza how come all in jewelry ananiambia so walijuana after to meet for like was it like nine months tulikuwa nine months up up ndo walijuana so akaanza na so niko like wewe uko unaona uko na dem ananiambia zin nisije ana uko na dem jo na kujanga kwangu na mpikia one thing about me mimi i'm a city girl Yani from like long time ago mimi i don't do that way fish it at least all that I, i think it's just extra stuff okay i'll be as in like i don't go those extra miles me i don't I, i'm just like that yo <laughs> so yani ambia, yeah he comes he leaves his clothes i wash them nini 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 so i'm like wow you are the wife you're the like the wife material me of course me me the girlfriend bro apo nilikuwa girlfriend by you i think eh so me to catch her no dem yani tumetoka tu kucheka tuko like yani tumekuwa tunacheza all this while na tukwa tunajua then tukaacha na tu vizuri nini 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 i don't know tukajua tukasema we will decide what to do but me of course me nika nimeshazona tu kwa relationship So when I went home, I think I had too much to drink that day and I was stressed. Nee, nee, nee. I just nee, rope the guy and then I'm like, "Yani you been playing me all this while? You wasted my two years. Siji nini siji nini? I go like, "Nini, no, I know the one. I know this guy told you. I know my my best friend tell you told you all this and I know it's because he wants you." I can't just like twist story and I'm like, "Samati, I'll never be so stupid or because ujama na nitaka. I don't know what and I'm like, "Guy, bro, What do you mean? I already met this chick. She already told me everything. You know what, guy? Sana uliza. Jamana kana ana kana. But up to today, that guy hajawai hakuwa ya admit ati ali cheat. I'm I can't okay, hakuwa ya admit. So me ikakuwa toxic. We used to argue kutoka nikiamka hivyo na na mtusi na mama acha kuna ni mimi na nikitemuka mimi ni mbaya i think no the other chili i think she was more in love unja there was young to whatever so mimi that is how mine ended mimi sasa tukafika place ka kwa too toxic you know but there's no i'm doing this oh my god can you chill for all that while you know of course right now i already have security i can always I got a job I can afford my house my nini my bills my nini so I'm like yeah whatever like a boy by you know say she's a independent woman and I'm like eh hey. so like I used to 
so alafu i was tired i was tired of the lies or the whatever so maybe nikasema me i just want out i just want out i don't want to be with you i remember he came to my place you had moved from where i used to live came to my place and then i was like apana yo yo laya yo nini so he nikamropeka tu hizo vitu zote the guy the previous guy had told me and that is how me hours ended sasa mimi yangu ikaisha hivyo but let me tell you guys i was heartbroken i was heartbroken by this guy because i'd given him two la two years of my life i was a good girlfriend i remember at an nikii so out na mtu yoyote opposite gender nilikuwa nasikia ni kama kuchit mm? i remember even my friends were tired of me because miss kwa nataka kwenda out because what will my boyfriend say my boyfriend doesn't like it when i go out mm, uko guy ushenzi i'm oh my friends were so sick of me nilikuwa nasema apana you know i can't be doing all this because now i'm in a relationship and i'm going to get married imagine i say you know come to the go seven right now i'm not even considering marriage and then i was considering oh, yani i'd say that was like my first love that was the, my first love but it really broke me it really broke me and it like really opened my eyes right now i really view the things really as in kuna vitu naweza tu niambia alafu nikuangalia nikuulize do i look stupid to you hmm? do i look stupid hmm. anyway anyway of course quite life it's not like i'm this and one guy this is just one of the stories so see you on my next story of character development in nairobi <laughs>